Greetings, YouTube. Happy Monday. I woke up to a uh, flurry of questions from people online and a few on Twitter saying, Prof, I noticed, and they took a screenshot of this arena coming into the contest right now. Is it Kabam's way of apologizing for the crazy changes to arena that especially hurt uncollected and Cavalier members? It was probably planned way before that. Uh, but what is it? Well, I said, I'm just going to wait and talk about it so we know exactly what the heck it is when it comes out. So it is the Community's Choice Champion Update Arena. You can see Ant-Man and Guillotine are checked. From now until May 24th, participate in the Special Community's Choice Arena for your chance to vote for which champion you'd like to receive an update later this year. Reach specific milestones in this arena to collect Community's Choice Champion Update selectors and cast your vote for either Ant-Man or Guillotine. Once the arena ends, the votes will be tallied and the winner will be announced in June. Don't miss this chance to help decide which champion will be receiving overall. So, on the surface, before we've looked at the milestones, this seems like one of the dumbest ideas ever. Because you're asking people to spend time they already don't have to do the current arenas to grind just a vote. A poll would be a lot simpler. But, you'd think that the milestones should be decent, and if they come with like units, or crystal shards, or both, or battle chips, then it's like, okay, it's kind of a creative way. But can you imagine if it, there were like no, nothing in the milestones? And it was just, uh, <laughs> it was just, you get to vote. Okay, premium shards, a thousand gold, a thousand gold? That's like one dust speck of gold. 500 battle chips, again. Ugh. 10 units, okay, that's not the best, but still pretty good. 2,000 gold, oh, now we're just getting too greedy. 2,000 battle chips, another ch uh, vote, I guess. What's the top prize? Please tell me it's something besides premium shards. Premium shards again. 20 units, okay, so 30 units total. We go from 550, which is still not even, oh, pre, still just premium shards, premium shards, yuck. More premium shards, where are the more units? What? Oh. <laughs> I mean, why not just stop at 350,000 points and get your 20 units and then be done with it? I might do that. I mean, I'm, I'm addicted to the arena. Who am I kidding? I'm going to do all the milestones because I'm a loser. But... Why would you stop giving away free units at Milestone 8? And if you want to say, well, you usually get 30 free units on the uh, Tier 1 Alpha or Tier 4 Basic Arena, so they're just staying consistent. Well, this is a special arena. Screw consistency. Why would you just have premium shards as, as the rest of the milestones? I mean, that's just, just dumb. For the average grinder... Let me be the voice of reason for you and just stop at 350,000 points and get 30 free units. <sighs> this had so much potential. Whoever decided after Milestone 9, just or Milestone 8, I should say, just, just threw it in. I guess this would be fun if this was 2015. But if you're asking people who are already complaining that they're having to spend more time, especially with worse rosters... Grinding arenas, since if you're uncollected and above, it's just the two six-star featured arenas and the uh, the now um, summoner trials. <sighs> Milestone 8, that's where it's at. What a weird arena. I, I, there's so much I could say about this, but I don't want I don't want to talk anymore. I'm just I'm burnt out of trash. <sighs> Kabam's hurting for money. What are they gonna do? Give you some more premium shards. What a great plan. <laughs> Said no one ever.